Oh god, okay. Hi guys, it is, um, let me, let me grab, grab this a little bit closer. Yes, I am clothed. This keeps falling off though. I used to wear this when I was a lot heavier, so it falls off me now. Ooh la la. Um, hey. It's, uh, like past 1am. I'm for once actually very tired. But do you ever get that feeling where you're like, I need to talk about this though? That's one of these moments right now. I was on YouTube earlier and I saw this video in my recommended feed. It was by this young woman who was explaining her sleep disorders. Now, the sleep disorder I'm most uh, acquainted with is sleep paralysis because I've had sleep paralysis since I was 12 or 13, give or take. So I thought naturally that that would be the sleep disorder she was speaking of because a lot of people speak about sleep paralysis on YouTube. But it wasn't. It was a type of hallucination that occurs when you're falling asleep or waking up. And these hallucinations can be so real that you speak to the hallucination or you engage with them in another way or whatever. Now, this got the damn wheels in my head turning so much. To the point where I'm looking back, I'm trying to recall and remember my sleep history from when I was a child until now. That is hard for me to do because I did have a stroke when I was nine years old, so there is a gap in my brain of, of history. My memory isn't that wonderful, but I have been trying to figure this out. So when I was a kid, there were several instances that I'm aware of <laughs> of when I would sleepwalk. Now I say when I'm when I was aware of it because half of the time I, I really had no recollection of doing it the day after. So I would wake up in the morning and I would either be laying on the floor right next to my twin size bed or I would wake up and everything in my room would be all over the damn place because either I woke up my siblings from screaming because typically that's how my sleepwalking would begin. I would start screaming or yelling or talking very loudly in my sleep. So I would get out of bed and I would walk around. And then when I, like I said, when I would wake up, things in my room wouldn't be where I left it and there would be... You know, like the night table one time was pushed all the way across the room because it was very pointy and if I hit my face on that, I would have cracked my face right open. So there was an instance like that. Um, there was an instance with uh, my sister and I and our mother, maybe my dad was there, I'm not sure. We were at our old shore house and my sister and I were in our bedroom. She was awake, I was asleep. But suddenly, I woke up. I mean, I didn't wake up, but she thought I woke up because I sat up very abruptly in my bed. And, you know, like, hands down, like, freaked out. And I looked at her. I turned my body. I looked at her. And I started talking. Coherent sentences. You know, she knew what I was saying. But what I was saying was not making any sense. I sounded batshit crazy. I sounded like one of those robot kids on Spy Kids. And she's like, Amber, like, what are you, what are you saying? What are you doing? What is this? What is, what is happening? And then... And then, guys, I stop, I turn back around, and I lay flat on the bed. Just plop like a freaking sack of potatoes. And then I wake up in the morning, and she's like, Do you remember last night? Do, do you remember what you did? And I said, No, 
what did I do? She told me. And I was like, holy shit, I really am batshit crazy. I was like seven years old at this point. And then when I was 13 or 14 was when that experience I told about in a paranormal story time I did about uh, when I woke up at two in the morning-ish and I, 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 I didn't wake up. Whenever I say I woke up, I mean like I woke up in, you know, fantasy land or whatever it was. <laughs> I woke up and I, I walked to the window in my room and I looked outside. And I looked at the front lawn, and I saw two little girls in white dresses, dancing and prancing around, having a great old time, holding each other's wrists, singing. It was fine in their world. I wasn't worried about it. Don't know why. And then I just walked back to my bed and fell and and you know went to went to sleep. Now, what was so weird about this was I think when I told that story, I might have said that I was awake and saw that, but I think if I did say that, it was because I, I really thought I was awake. And now looking back on that experience, I think that was a hallucination, like completely. It wasn't... Like my great Grammy, for instance, who passed away and then I saw her in my kitchen down the shore. I know that happened because my best friend at the time saw it as well and heard all of the lead up to it. You know, I don't know, guys. It's just, it's very strange to me that every experience I've had where there's a hallucination of some sort or or I'm hearing voices, or I am sleep talking, or I am sleep walking, or I am seeing things. I used to think that was just my sleep paralysis, but now I'm starting to wonder if it really is because I've had sleep paralysis attacks where I'm fine. Like I can move, I can react, I can say things, I can, you know, go after something. So it makes me wonder if some of that isn't sleep paralysis. Do you know what I mean? It's very weird. It's something that I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on. And, you know, I know a therapist can diagnose me with it. You know, if I feel it comes to that point where I'm getting, like, freaked out. You know, if I'm seeing things or hearing things. It has been okay, but when, normally when I get sleep paralysis now, which is something I don't really talk about, is, I mean, I think it's sleep paralysis, maybe it's this hallucination thing, I have no idea, but sometimes I feel like the thing is, like, raping me or something, it's, it's very, I don't really know how else to explain it, but I did see a video on sleep paralysis where a woman said that has happened to her, so I don't know you know, like, you feel like it's climbing on top of you, and you can, like, feel it touching you, which is, like, another thing. I don't know if that one sleep paralysis thing I thought was sleep paralysis, where that thing was, like, slapping my arm, if that was actually sleep paralysis, or if that was something else, with the demon eyes, the glowing eyes. I just have to, I'm gonna sit down one day and try to recall as much of my sleep history as I can. And just have a think about it. And just see if something comes up in my mind where it's like, yeah, okay, this really does make sense. Because right now, at 1 a.m. in the morning, this does make sense to me. I don't know. Because um, I definitely feel like sometimes I see things or hear things in my room. Or in my space or whatever. Yes, I just burped into the microphone. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. I put out new videos every week, every other week, sometimes twice a week. And I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.